Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is Dolphin. Today guys we're in a video about Summoner's Wars. Today we're gonna talk about how to ruin Fengan, the Wind uh, Panda Warrior. We have been doing a decent amount of uh, how to ruin videos and I think, but not I think, I was looking around in my, in my YouTube channel and I had them, but they were super outdated so I decided to do a few of them again. Hopefully they help you. As, as always if you have questions, if you don't agree with something, do let me know in the comment below so I can actually answer to you. But guys, before going to the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, especially if you haven't already, it's free and support the channel a whole lot, guys. So if you can, please do so. Uh, do sub because it's free and it will really, really help. Also, if you want to check out RTA highlights, there's a second channel. I'm going to try to post it over here, uh, but it's called Dolph Lash Shorts. All right. Fengen. He kinda coming back to RTA. I don't know if he ever was an RTA unit or a meta unit. Uh, he was used a lot more before. And now it's coming back because the turn 2 meta is actually here. Uh, a lot of people use turn 2 and it works pretty well now. Uh, with Water Cookie, uh, Josephine, Zinze, a lot of units became really good. Gyo. So turn 2 became a lot stronger and people started using Fengyan as well, why not? Uh, Fengyan, pretty good base stats, defense type, uh, average HP, okay attack, pretty decent, pretty good defense actually, and a bit below average speed. Um, I'm gonna show you my RTA1 as well, this is my PBE. Accuracy now awakens into a fan god because it was awakening to something else. I don't remember what was it, but Accuracy Awaken is actually really good because the Defense Breaker skill 1 is really, really important. The skill, as we, say, we were saying, skill 1 has Defense Break with a 50% chance and it's 3 hits, so you have 50% time 3. Usually, if you have okay Accuracy, it lands. Skill 2 has a Cleanse with Counter Attack buff and Heal buff AoE um, for 2 turns. And the passive, when you get attack, you get 20% attack bar, you don't need that much speed on it. Obviously, the more speed you have on, on Fengian, the better it is. Uh, you, don't have, you don't need too much speed, but don't forget, if the enemy has a single target, they're probably going to avoid Fengian, so if you build him too slow, he's never going to move. Uh, your attack will inflict additional damage that is proportional to your defense whenever you attack. So you need a lot of defense on Fengian. That's how it is in PvE for me. It's not fully grinded, I definitely can get more stats, but obviously I was focusing on defense, some HP and speed. I'm gonna show you my PvE PvP. I think it's better to be honest with you. I don't use him too much. I like turn one more, but sometimes I've been uh, actually picking it. And it's like this, a bit faster than the one before, a bit less defense, but a lot more HP and a bit more accuracy. Uh, he's on value well still. Um, and uh, I think this one is actually grinded. Oh, wait a second. We can get a lot more speed here. We can get 15. Uh, so we can actually get nine more speed on that rune and a lot more stats over here as well. And uh, that's turn. Okay, we can also get a lot more defense here. So we can get our Fengian a lot better. And uh, I don't know what artifacts I have, but I think, yeah, additional damage are the best one and additional damage by defense especially is the best one now yes 77 plus 5 accuracy is almost max accuracy on skill 1 which means is most of the time will defense break uh best way in my opinion is violent will violent revenge is also pretty good because if he revenges he can defense break that'll be a really really good because then if the opponent doesn't proc it means then as soon as you move you're gonna do a lot more damage on that unit so Vanity Revenge, Vanity Will is pretty good. I don't think Nemesis is needed because you get attacked by, by with the passive anyway. So I've seen Vampire Fengians. Vampire Revenge definitely would be good because then at that point if you Revenge you can heal as well. If you Defense Break you're going to heal a decent amount. So these ones are the better options. But I think overall Vanity Will, in my opinion, is the better one. Vanity Revenge is probably just second to that. Uh, Fengian, how to counter it, obviously ignore defense unit, um, I know Molong is water but once you do reckless assault on Fengian, if he's missing a little bit of HP, it just goes away. Uh, Bulwark is pretty good because Fengian actually, where is Bulwark anyway? 
because uh, Fengyan um, does two buffs on himself plus the three on the other allies so he gets five stacks on the bulwark and ignore defense Miles again water unit but ignore defense and he can strip the skill the counter attack uh, Daphnis is really good Masha is good but you need to have because usually resistance Fengyan is a thing so you need to have decent accuracy on her but I feel like Daphne is actually pretty pretty good uh, any unit that ignore defense is actually really good against Fengyan or if you have CC that Fengyan is in trouble because once you CC the Fengyan it's going to be really hard for him to come back because you can defense break him as well and he might just be it um, guys I think that's going to be it for the video but yeah for running him when you run him obviously focus on defense focus on HP focus on speed and accuracy if you can get some resistance i mean if you can get a hundred rise otherwise don't for don't don't worry about it uh focus on uh one two three and accuracy by awakening that are ready to accuracy which means yes 25 percent accuracy already so you're gonna be able to get at least 50 accuracy will be pretty good on him now guys that's gonna be it for the video hope you enjoyed it i'll see you on the next one bye bye buddy take care guys stay safe bye